Hi, my dear students. Welcome to session one of Garbage In, Garbage Out. Students, you must have seen kabari walas on streets asking for household garbage. And did you notice what your mother usually gives away to them? Well, if you didn't, then try to notice that mostly things made of iron, old notebooks, glass bottles which are not in use, old newspapers, etc. All these things are taken away by kabariwalas. And this suggests that we reuse and recycle garbage. So we will study about recycling and reusing this garbage in the coming sessions. First, let us have a look at our introductory slide and learn more about garbage in, garbage out. Yes, students, we cannot stop the production of garbage, but we can surely minimize it by being wise. Like there are many types of garbage which are produced daily. It may be in the form of fruit or vegetable peels, discarded objects, wasted food as household garbage, wrapping materials or discarded chemicals and fertilizers which are washed into rivers domestic sewage, etc. Even the gases released by vehicles and industries are also a type of gaseous wastes. And we will be dealing mainly with household wastes in today's session. So based on the ability of the wastes to rot away, they are of two types. So let us learn about them. Yes, segregation of wastes. Students, there are mainly two types of wastes. One is biodegradable wastes and second is non-biodegradable wastes. Now first of all, we should get familiar with one term that is related to these wastes and that is degradation. Now what do we mean by degradation? Students, the process sorry by which Substances are broken down by tiny organisms called decomposers. So degradation is the process by which Substances are broken down by tiny organisms called decomposers. Now basically, the segregation of wastes includes biodegradable wastes as well as non-biodegradable wastes. Now what are biodegradable, um, sorry, biodegradable waste students? Yes, Biodegradable wastes are those that can be degraded by the action of tiny organisms called decomposers found in the soil. Like dead plants and animals and their products, for example, paper, cloths, leaves, fruit and vegetable peels. They decay very easily and these wastes mix with the soil and produce manure. So these are called biodegradable wastes. And what are non-biodegradable wastes? Yes, 
non biodegradable wastes are those that cannot be broken down by decomposers for example glass it is a non biodegradable waste plastic and metals and there are many other things too so basically believe it or not many of them can be recycled to produce new things and many of them cannot be recycled so which can be recycled are biodegradable waste sorry biodegradable waste are those that rot or undergo degradation by the action of tiny organisms and they are found in soil but non biodegradable waste cannot be broken down by decomposers so they can be recycled to produce new things so depending on the type of wastes two garbage bins one for biodegradable waste and other for non biodegradable wastes should be used because this helps in easy sorting and recycling of wastes to make beneficial products so basically there are two types of bins two garbage bins namely green bins and blue bins now green bins are for biodegradable wastes such as vegetables and fruit peels spoiled food tissue paper hair leaves eggshells etc and blue bins are for recyclable wastes such as glass bottles polythene bags chocolate wrappers plastic wastes old batteries etc so depending on the type of wastes these bins are used and they should be used because it is very helpful in easy sorting and recycling of wastes to make beneficial products now you will be very amazed that something is known as best out of waste means to make something very good or something best by using waste products so there is one amazing thing there is one amazing place the rock garden in chandigarh students the rock garden in chandigarh is an excellent example of how solid wastes can be utilized every item in this garden is made from waste materials such as tires plastic bottles eggshells tube lights etc and this innovative idea of utilizing solid waste has made the rock garden a very popular tourist attraction so it is a very amazing thing it is best out of waste so students that was all about our introduction to garbage in gar and garbage out and segregation of waste so in next session we will learn about management of biodegradable waste and non biodegradable waste i hope you like today's session we'll meet in the next session till then enjoy have a nice time